Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix if your Windows desktop icons skip refreshing automatically in your computer. Now, there are a couple of steps which you could try to get this issue resolved. Now, the first step is to go ahead and clear icon and thumbnail cache. Now, to perform this step, you will have to execute a couple of commands. Please make sure to execute this command and then check if your issue resolved. Now to do this, you will have to open PowerShell on your computer. So you can go to the search window and type PowerShell. You will see the best match for Windows PowerShell. You can do a right click and then click on run as administrator. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Now once you are on the PowerShell window, you will have to run the command which I will paste it in the video description. All you can do is you can copy the command from the video description and do a right click and that should automatically paste and execute the command. And as you execute the command, it will go ahead and restart your file explorer. As you execute this command, it will go ahead and restart the file explorer. And you don't have to worry about in case if you're seeing any red icons listed here. This indicates that these commands were not applicable for your computer. Once this is done, you can go ahead and close this window, restart your PC and check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next step. Now, In spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem, the next step what I would suggest you to do is to run SFC and DISM scan on your computer. To do this, you will have to open command prompt. So in the search window, you may go ahead and type CMD. You will see the best match for the command prompt. You can do a right click on command prompt and then click on run as administrator. Once you have the command prompt window open, you will have to go ahead and type the command SFC space forward slash scan now and hit enter. This will go ahead and try to run a system file checker on the computer. So in case if there are any corruption associated with the windows, it will try to verify those and fix the problem by itself. Once the verification is completed, you will have to go ahead and execute another command for disk cleanup and hit enter. This will go ahead and execute the deploy imaging servicing and management tool on the computer. Once this command has been executed, you may go ahead and close this window, restart your computer and check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next step. The next step, what you could do is you can go ahead and try to install the latest updates for your windows. See if there are any latest updates available for your windows. To do this, you can do a right click on the start button and then click on settings. Once you're on the settings, you may go ahead and click on windows update and then check if there are any updates available by clicking on the check for the updates. In case if there are any updates available, go ahead and install those updates, close this window, restart your computer and check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next step. Now the next step to resolve this issue is to fix the problem using Windows Update. To do this, you will have to do a right click on the start button and then click on settings. Once you're on the settings, you will have to go ahead and click on Windows Update. And then on the right hand side, you will have to go ahead and click on advanced option and then click on recovery. Once you're on the recovery, you will see an option which says fix problem using Windows Update and then click on reinstall now. Now what this will do is this will try to repair any Windows or system file components on your computer. Try to fix the problem by itself. You may click on OK. In this process, your computer will restart and once the restart is complete and you're, once you're back on the desktop, you can check if your issue has been resolved. So all these steps should definitely fix the problem. In spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem, I would suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that I can come up with the possible solution. I hope this video was useful. In case if you like this video, please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.